we're serving up something different on today's Forking Good. I got a chance to speak with voice actor Mark Dodson when he greeted fans at Toy Federation in Greer, South Carolina. Dodson is best known as the voices of the Gremlins from the classic horror comedy produced by Steven Spielberg. And most notably, the voice of Jabba the Hutt's sidekick, Salacious Crumb, in Return of the Jedi. But Dodson also voiced some iconic breakfast cereal characters in the 1980s, including the Cookie Cop and the Cookie Crook oh, yeah. from the Cookie Crisp Ooh, cereal commercials. Chip cookie. And face crispy with your complete breakfast. The game Monopoly has come to life at McDonald's. And he was one of the first to voice the Monopoly Man for McDonald's back in 1987 when the fast food franchise first launched its version of the game. Oh my gosh, Mellow Mushroom. I asked Mark about playing Mel, the mascot for Mellow Mushroom. I'm still a cartoon. Mel was featured in a series of commercials for the pizza chain. Look, this pie is 100% real, and you're colored ink. Wanting to be more than an animated character. Can you buy me a beer? So he could try the restaurant's real pizza. I wondered how Mark came up with the character's mellow persona. Honestly, uh, you know who I was? Jim Cummings was the first person that I ever heard say this, and he's so right. He said, you know, I, I, I'm hitting my mic. I hope you all enjoy that. Um, Jim Cummings said, a bad impersonation is a new voice. Is that right? So that mellow mushroom, when I looked at him and I started thinking, he's kind of mellow, man. And so I was like, oh man, Cheech and Chong, you know, I can do, and then I can do him, but he's more. But then I started thinking, no, it mellow mushroom. I was like, oh, Lorenzo music would have been perfect which was Garfield. Yep. And Lorenzo, was his pa he was passed away. I always feel weird doing other actors if they're around. It's like they should get him, you know? But I was like, well, Lorenzo's not around, and I think he would have been great for this. So, so I just started trying to, oh, you have Garfield on, as a matter of fact. <laughs> He's got a Garfield shirt on. Is that why you did that? Well, was I, that I intentional? That He's got a deal. Christmas Garfield. No, you didn't know. I, I didn't know that was so the that so Mellow Mushroom. This is the first time I've ever admitted it. It's a bad impersonation of of Lorenzo Music and doing Garfield, which but he was a little more mellow sounding maybe, and uh, I just could I have a piece of your pizza, and I just kind of went like that, and that was the way the voice. And I know there was a lot of people tried that, and they they immediately went for that. So I was like. Lorenzo, thanks for the part. So now that we know that, if it was a lasagna chain, how would you have played the character? <laughs> if it was a lasagna... Maybe a little bit more like an Italian Lorenzo. I don't know. That was bad. <laughs> so wait a minute. Mellow Mushroom, Lazy Lasagna? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. Not, we, should, we should make that change. Lazy Lasagna. Because after you eat lasagna, you, <laughs> you want to feel be lazy. lazy. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. What, where, where were we? No, going? I think we got. A, I think we got an idea. Here. <laughs> uh. Wild Turkey. Mark was also the voice for Wild Turkey Bourbon in a series of commercials that featured the tagline "Wild Turkey, real Kentucky bourbon. Nothing else comes close. Give him the bird." So I was curious if Mark was a method actor and enjoyed a splash or two to get into character. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't drink. I can't get. I can't. I can't do that when I'm working. Gotcha. I have fun on the weekends. So people have asked, do you get how when you're do you get high or anything when you when you record? And I'm like, no way. I can't do it. I always think of like the older actors that were so known for always having to have nips while they were. I'm like, how the hell did they do that? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't work for me. Mark and I took that commercial's advice at the end of our visit. Well, sort of. We want to thank Mark Dodson for chatting with us. Learn more about his work at markdodson.com. Hear more about his film career from our friends at Screaming Soup. And thanks to Toy Federation for keeping the magic of childhood alive and those of us who are still big kids at heart.